Hi, I'm Peter Birch, and today we're at Treshrel and Arboreal in Florida checking out some awesome venomous reptiles. Welcome to Critter Cam. At this facility they've got some absolutely spectacular chondros. Unlike the Australian chondros which just strictly go green, these chondros go all different colours. This is a blue line chondro. Mastered by Rico Walder, the chondro master himself, these animals will go blue. They're absolutely beautiful animals. And this female has got a lot of blue through her already. What a spectacular animal. They also have some very high yellow animals, just like this one right here, with the amount of green coming through. You can see the small oscillating greens coming through the scales. Beautiful animals. And just like this one down here, we have this animal, a high calico animal, with this magnificent black. They're actually calling them a dreamsicle. What a beautiful animal. One of the many chondros that caught my eye was this beautiful animal here. They're actually calling it the black dream. The black dream is made up of the calico, the blue line animal, and the dream line. The way the colors mix and match amongst them is absolutely amazing. The greens, the yellows, and the black coloration coming through is making this animal an absolutely spectacular chondro. One of the two venomous species of lizards in the world is the Gila monster. And this is one of the northern varieties. It's actually called the banded. It doesn't like being held very much. And in fact, the Gila monsters have a defensive bite. They don't have a bite used for hunting. They have the bite is used for defense. They have these large venom glands in the bottom jaw with approximately about 15 razor teeth. They have a grip, apparently, that's very strong. They grip on really tight and they hang on. And what they do then is they start munching, chewing in the venom into your body. And believe it or not, these guys can actually hang on for about five minutes before they will release and let go. Now, they do spend a lot of time underground in their burrows. When they do come out, they're looking for things like eggs and small mammals. They are an absolutely awesome looking animal. These massive claws. And when you look at them closely, you can see why they call them a monster. <laughs> Very prehistoric looking animal. Just like the adult Gila monsters, there's a few baby ones as well. These are grow ups. So he's planning on growing these little fellas up to use as breeding stock. Look at the little beautiful face. The big monsters weren't attractive. These guys definitely are. They are just so damn cute. This is the other venomous lizard that exists in the world. The beaded lizard. Another true monster. Just like the gila, it has the enlarged venom glands. And also lives underground. Now believe it or not, these guys oh, are a Mexican species living under the ground and they lay eggs. Although their bite isn't fatal, apparently it's quite painful. Whoa. As you can see, whoa, he doesn't like being handled like this. So, <laughs> so like I said, their bite isn't fatal, but it is very painful. And in fact, it'll drop your blood pressure and cause some serious swelling. So what we might do because he's not liking this, we're gonna stick him back in the box. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. One of the biggest thrills I'm having here today, whoa, is handling this black mamba. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, buddy. The Tanzanian black mamba is one of the coolest snakes. And being lucky enough, whoa, to hold one of these, is absolutely one of the greatest privileges I've had here. Big, beautiful animal. Intelligent. Woo. I've had an absolute blast today handling a giant black mamba. That was absolutely awesome. Please leave a comment below. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. You've been watching Critter Cam.